After conquering the South, we used that momentum to go on and defeat Wei. All that remains in our path is the broken down kingdom of Shu, Sun Jian, Sun Se, and Sun Quan. I am proud to serve three generations of such fine warriors. There is no other officer more fortunate than I. Let us make the Sun family's dream a reality by winning here at Paidi Castle. My lord, let us get going. The land will soon be ours. Ah, the land we have struggled to achieve lies before us. The only enemy left in our way is Shu, and their commander Liu Chan is at Baidu Castle, which shall serve as the place for the final battle. This battle is going to prove to be a difficult siege. Huang Gai, you go from the left and work your way up to the outskirts of the mountain. Your target is the enemy commander, Liu Chan. Huang Gai, you are truly a general that we can be proud of. Wu needs this battle in order to unite the land, so please give it your all. The time has come for us to realize our destiny. Get out of my way. Now the three kingdoms divided by Zhuge Liang shall be as one. Let's go! This has long been the dream of my family. Today it shall be realized. My lord, victory is almost ours. It will not be long before you achieve what your brother had always dreamed of. Wong Guy, let's win the day and then drink until morning. Whatever you say, that sounds mighty good to me. Charge! This whole land will soon be ours. We'll surround Baidi Castle. The main army shall protect the center. Wong Guy will begin encircling it from the left flank, while Shou Tai secures a space for our reinforcements on the right. Take the base! Stop them! Officer obliterated. Because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. So, Wu would attack even the innocent. Hey, old 
old man. Come and fight me. Coming this way! Damn! Trapped like rats! <laughs> you fell for it! You seem a bit cocky! You obviously know nothing of kind of make you pay for your injustice. Justice is with me. Prepare yourself. The enemy is formidable.
no time. Leave this to us and return to our master. You fulfilled your duty. Go and treat your wounds. Thank you. Are you crazy? Coming here all by yourself? going very well. Shotai! Thank you! It seems you're always coming to my rescue. No. I fight for the sake of Wu. Right. Everyone, follow Shotai! My spear will run right through to your soul. of justice. Officer, obliterated! Master, the time has come. Order the army to march. Crush them where they stand. Now is our chance. Prepare to attack. <laughs> Try to take the base. Stop them. The 
should help us hold them off. over already. Enemy officer obliterated! Don't think you'll get away with that! Officer obliterated. Quite impressive. This road is for dead men only. None alive shall pass. Are you afraid to face me instead? Crush them in an instant. Unfulfilled. Enemy officer obliterated.
this how I'm to meet my end? Enemy officer obliterated! Unfulfilled. Enemy officer obliterated, teacher. We captured by D Castle and killed Liu Chan as well, bringing an end to Shu and his dreams of a land of virtue. Perhaps it was too great of an ideal to be realized. What the people want is to live a life of peace. And the kingdom of Wu shall be able to give that life to them. We must work hard to create a land that would not be ridiculed by Cao Cao or Liu Bei. A new this. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Huang Gai from the Lingling region. Although raised in poverty, Huang Gai trained hard in the martial arts to become one of the toughest warriors of his time. In 184 AD, he joined Sun Jian's army immediately upon hearing of the draft. He dedicated himself to Sun Jian's campaigns against the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo, contributing tremendously in both. When Sun Jian was killed by an enemy arrow during an attack against Liu Biao in Jing, it was Huang Gai who cheered up a depressed Sun Se and helped the Sun family escape disaster.
When Sun Se passed away, Sun Quan became the new ruler of Wu. Huang Gai dedicated his life to supporting Sun Quan's efforts to achieve the dreams of his father and brother, thus strengthening the bond between the old and the new. During the Battle of Qi Bi, Huang Gai's efforts resulted in a successful fire attack, securing a miraculous victory for Wu. He continued to serve and protect Sun Quan in subsequent battles, despite his old age. Wu prevailed, and the days of fighting finally came to an end. Perhaps the most loyal warrior to the Sun family, Huang Gai served three generations of Sun family leaders and spent the remainder of his life protecting Wu. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. My lord, Lord Sunsei. Hey. Lord Sun Quan has made your dream a reality. Wang Guy. Wine is best drunk with friends. Wouldn't you say? Agreed. Today, we must celebrate our victory. <laughs>